All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here, and I have the encased thin armor case here in front of you for my Samsung Galaxy S22. Now this case is gonna come in around $11.86 on Amazon with Prime shipping. That's an unusual number I know guys, but that's exactly what it's selling for today. So if you wanna buy this for the S22, the S22 Plus, or the S22 Ultra, do follow my affiliate links down in the description. I will post them down below. Now, as far as the case goes itself, um, it's an actual uh, very thin case, as you can see here, guys. It's a very slim profile. Definitely, um, you know, that case for the person who wants a slim case. It's going to give you some decent drop protection, but at the end of the day, it's not going to be just a rugged, you know, otter box or anything like that. Now, in the interior of the case here, as you can see, uh, we do have this kind of honeycomb pattern inside here. It does say thin armor right here, um, so you know that's what you got. Now, in the interior of the actual case, uh, we do have some reinforced corners here, like little airbags for the phone. So if you drop it, it's going to help protect your investment here. So let's go ahead and grab my S22 real quick. So let's just pick it up here. Start with the button side first and push in. And that is it guys, it is super easy to install. And there it is installed on the phone itself. So as you can see here, it's a very thin, very slim profile, very, very slim. Now in the back here, we do have kind of the snake skin pattern as I've always called it. So it's a very flexible TPU. Uh, you kind of have this high gloss black that separates this bottom, which is more of a matte finish black. And then obviously it does say encased there. For the camera bump cutout, I'm a big fan of it because it does mimic the layout of the cutout here, but then a half circle for the extension for the flash there. Definitely some raised lips. You are getting some lens protection with this case, um, but like I said, it comes in a very slim profile. Now on the sides here, uh, we once again have that kind of continued matte finish material uh, all across the side here. Our power button and volume up and down buttons are raised, as you can see there, which I will test in just a bit. Going to the bottom here, we do have our Type-C port and mic, so we do have one single cutout for that, and our speakers there as well. And then, of course, on this side, absolutely nothing. And then at the top, we do have a circular cutout for the mic up top. Now on the front, we do have a 360 lip that does cover the whole entire screen. So you're definitely gonna get some screen protection with this case, as you can see. And then looking at it from the top here, you can kind of see that little cutout there for the speakers and stuff up top. And then of course it is tempered glass friendly, as you can see as well. So now just for a couple of the tests that I do for my videos, let's start with how shaky it is. So let's do face down first and see if there's any wobble at all. And there is not. And then now let's do back down and see if there's any shake here. And actually there is a little bit. So here at the top, it is a little bit shaky and it mainly has to do with how that camera cutout goes all the way up to here and there is a lip right there. So you are gonna get a little bit of some shakiness going on. So now let's go ahead and do the clicky button test and start with the power button first. And volume up and down. Okay, so the buttons are very clicky. Uh, the volume down button for whatever reason is way more clickier than the volume up and the power button. That's not to say that these aren't clicky, it's just this one is a lot more noticeable when I'm pushing the button. You can hear it, you can feel it, just a little bit different, but no problem, because they all are very responsive. So now let's go ahead and grab my Qi Wireless charger here and slap it on. And as you can see, it is instantly recognizing that it is on my char uh, wireless charger here, excuse me. So it is Qi Wireless charging compatible, and uh, reverse power share compatible, and you are able to do Samsung Pay and Google Pay with ease, no issues at all. I've definitely tested it, it's no problem. 
So as far as the case goes itself, guys, if you want a slim case, uh, this from Encased is actually a pretty good looking case in my opinion. Um, it looks good, has a little bit of some different two-tone blacks here. Looks really great with the Phantom Black camera bump on my S22. As far as the grippiness goes, it, it is a little bit on the smoother side. Yes, the matte finish sides do help a little bit with the grip, but this back is actually pretty slippery. Um, not as slippery as not having a case on it, but the point is, is it's not super gummy or grippy. Uh, obviously, it's anti-fingerprint and anti-smudging, but if you're like me, you're probably going to wipe it down regardless. But uh, I always say that in my videos. But the point is, is if you're looking for something that's super, super grippy, this isn't that. But it's not to say that it doesn't have some grip to it. But if your hands are uh, dry, um, then I could see it easily slipping out of your hand. But just want to make sure I point that out. So there it is, guys. There is the Thin Armor case from Encased for the S22. If you like this video, I really do hope you consider to hit that thumbs up button and uh, help some others see this video. And then if you really have enjoyed it, I really do hope that you also subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content so you can keep on coming back for more and more. And uh, yeah, I would really appreciate that. So be safe, guys. God bless. See you on the next one.